Good morning. Today is Tuesday, so last minute as usual. Um, I am just gonna wash my face and get ready because I've got a dentist appointment finally. I've had some real tooth pain recently, so fingers crossed they can fix it. to go get my tooth checked out, fresh face, dressed, um, fingers crossed I can fix it, and then I'll do a little flat tour afterwards. Good morning and welcome back to my channel, I'm Rosa and this is Honestly Rosa. I don't know if you can see but I saw a, I think it's a J and I think they're pretty rare and I just had to get a picture, it was so cute. I'm back from the dentist now and oh my god she was so lovely. Um, a complete turnaround from the last dentist appointment I had back home a while ago. Um, so lovely, really took care of me. Um, she's only put a uh, temporary filling in at the moment because um, I need like longer to do a proper one but I'm gonna have to go back but fingers crossed there'll be no more pain now and um, I just feel a lot more relieved <laughs> so now I'm gonna go do a full material that's due at three o'clock so that's good and we'll get on with the tour a bit later I think so um, I'm gonna crack on with this essay I mean it's only 750 words but my motivation is an all-time low right now which means even 200 words is hard one um i know english student right here but i'm gonna crack on with this i'm going to put my phone on um what is it called is it the forest app I basically stops me looking at my phone because that is one of my main bad habits at the moment so i'm gonna do that crack on and then we'll get back to you Okay, so I ended up spending all that time just until the deadline, um, sent it off. I feel a bit shit about it really, if I'm honest, like it's not the best essay. Um, it's got some good points, I've got all the quotes and things, it's all cited and all that, but um, I'm really struggling with this module and so I don't know if any of you do creative writing, well English Lit creative writing, or if you plan on coming here for English Lit and creative writing. But if you're not into like 18th century writing and you so in second year you have to do um two pre eight uh 1789 um modules and i thought oh if i pick the one that's closest to that time like limit it might be more interesting for me rather than going like really late like medieval because i just don't vibe with that and actually apparently 17th century is a lot better than 18th century as a module and I'm really strong because I'm really not finding it. Um, it's not to my taste. And that's nothing against like the lecturers, like they clearly care a lot about what they're teaching and um, they know a lot about it. Um, so I'm wobbling all over the place. But I'm just really not getting on with it. And like the reading isn't, <laughs> it doesn't hook me. And like, it just, ah, oh, it's not for me. I'm really struggling at finding it really boring. Um, so writing about it is even harder so yeah just think about that if you do come here or if you're in your first year and you have not picked your modules yet think about like how much you get on with those kind of subjects because i'm next semester i'm doing um shakespeare which i think i'll get on better with because i'm more familiar with it um used before like 
we used to do plays like during school and college and Shakespeare's very familiar to me so I think I'll get on better with that but just think about like what modules you might be more interested in like find out a bit more about them speak to like people who've already done the course or who are like in third year they can probably tell you <laughs> one of my friends who's in doing her masters now um she said oh you should have told me <laughs> you should have asked me like I could have told you that it wasn't a great one so um yeah we live and we learn I'm just getting on with it I could have to be fair in the first couple of weeks I could have switched but it got to the point that I was like I have to do one of these and I don't think I'm going to enjoy the other ones anymore so I'll do that I'm just about to have my second coffee and I've not really properly eaten today so I should have eaten before I went to the dentist um but I woke up so late I was like oh you know what I don't want food in my mouth like I had a banana and just went to the dentist and then I, they gave me a temporary filling so I can't really eat on it well they said I think for at least an hour it's been obviously a few hours now um as you saw I had just one of these sausage rolls vegan sausage rolls they're so good um I know plastic not great um my plastic consumption has not been great recently so I just had that and a coffee made sure I ate on my the other side which it's not great because so I can't I got to be careful about this temporary filling but on this side I have I don't know if it's too much information I have a half erupted wisdom tooth and like the gum over the top of it is really painful and things get stuck underneath it so I normally I wouldn't eat on that side because it hurts and now I've got <laughs> like somehow juggle it in my mouth oh yeah so that's my life right now but yeah I'm gonna have another coffee Granted, I've not eaten very much today. Maybe a spoonful of this for a bit of sugar. I'm gonna get a workout in because I feel good because I finally submitted that work. I'm gonna do a workout. I might end up doing the tour tomorrow, the flat tour. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I still have time to edit and put it up. So I might do it because I'm losing light and I really wanna jump on and do some exercise because I didn't do any yesterday. I feel a bit better about myself. Um, and I'm a day behind with the stretching. I'm doing some stretching videos with Chloe, who does our strength and fitness at Pole. Um, um, so the idea is to get my splits by Christmas. So it's like 10 minute daily stretching. Uh, I'm a bit behind because I didn't want to do anything yesterday. And you kind of need to warm up. You can't just do the stretching video. I do hurt yourself. So do a workout, do a stretching video. Haven't done yoga today either. We'll get there. Food. And then I think I'm gonna watch, we're gonna finish watching um, Haunting of Hill House. We started it, me and Sophie, well, me, Sophie and Chloe, and then me and Sophie have been watching it together. And so I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and then maybe house tour tomorrow, get the flatmates involved. I might have clean hair. <laughs> might put makeup on, you never know. We'll see. All right, let's get on with this. So I've just done a pretty good lower body workout. I feel pretty good, warm. I did my videos, uh, my stretch videos. I managed to catch up on today's ones. I did two videos, feeling nice and loose. I'm gonna go out for a walk with one of my friends. Um, obviously socially distanced and just one friend outside by the lake, but um, it'll be nice. Just have a little catch up. Look at that, it's so pretty. I wish it showed up on my camera. You don't even show. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's a cool look. Look at that. <laughs> just back from my walk. Just back from my walk. Fresh. Felt good. Just have a little catch up with Will and one of my pole friends. It was dark by the time we got there. We wanted to catch the sunset, but that wasn't going to happen. Oh my god, I feel so good. Refreshed. Um, a bit sweaty, I don't even know what time it is. Um, half five. So I haven't eaten properly yet today, as I keep saying. So I'm probably gonna make some food. I've got leftover roast potatoes, I'm gonna chuck in the oven and then um, put some tofu, spinach, basic, just throwing things together. Um, 
have a shower and then watch one TV else. I think if Sophie's up for it. I may be leaving this as a day in my life, day in the life vlog and then do a separate house tour. Because I seem to have got quite a bit today. So we'll see. I may just end it here or I may not. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I post, which is every Thursday. And let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. I have noticed there's like one or two of you, or I don't know if it's you, but I'm guessing because you viewed it, if you keep downvoting them and if there's something you don't like, just let me know and I will try and rectify that. Or if it's not up, up to your standards, maybe don't watch, but it's a bit disheartening to see there's a downvote almost every video. Um, let me know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> okay, keep up the kindness, my friends.